hello, welcome back. Uh, once again, we've got a 3DS XL to tinker with. This one has a crack on the hinge, apparently a faulty charging port, and it's a USA version. So, I'm gonna get it all set up. <clears throat> Just check and make sure it reads cartridges as well. And then we'll get all these bits and bobs taken out, swapped over, and get it up and running. <clears throat> yep, it's definitely USA because we don't have European ones to pick from. Let's be in, I don't know, where's cool? Puerto Rico, that sounds cool. Yeah, don't need none of this. Wait till later. Marvellous. So, I'm just going to find a DS game. Got a couple here. No idea if this Pokemon White's going to work in here because that's the one from weeks ago that's pretty mangled. But DS games are region free, so that should play in there, no problem. Touch screen seems fine. Yeah, after a few goes, it does eventually read Pokemon, but I'm gonna put that more down to the Pokemon cart than anything else. Yeah, Duel Master comes up straight away. So, Let's get this stripped down. No memory card, of course. It's in quite nice condition. But yeah, we're gonna get that mid frame changed. Sort out the charging port. Let's just check that charger first whilst we're here. This is still plugged in, so. No, charging port seems fine. Does it show up on the screen that it's charging? Yeah. That shows it's charging. If I wobble it about, nothing happens. So the charge is fine. It's just the hinge and the fact it's American. So, we'll get the hinge part replaced and then we'll stick Luma on there with the MTR boot card and it'll be good to go. Makes a nice change for one of these to turn up with good screens on it.
probably should have checked the SD card as well whilst I was here, but it's a bit late for that now. Ping that one because that's where this lives underneath that, and then I should be able to carefully but with some force push this bottom screen out. So, obviously, as we're changing the mid frame, that all needs to come off anyway. Now for all the fun of trying to remove, uh, yeah, let's take these buttons out first because I need to flip it up the other way and unscrew the screen, don't I? And they're the bits that are likely to fall out. So. Carefully remove these. And put them right out of the way. Because I don't want to lose any. I always lose. At least one of these. Screw covers. That should slide off nicely. Which it does, excellent. Take this off before it falls off. And then, yeah, I need to try and jimmy this in here to slide the hinge out to there obviously if you leave the lid on you've got this little section here that stops it from coming out so you can't slide it back whilst that top portion is on This is not the easiest of things to do. <clears throat> Where is that other screw gone? The one that those fit into. seem to have lost that screwdriver so this one will do just a little flat head that should There we 
go. So that can now come off of there. And carefully reorganize these cables so that I can get them out without any damage. Right, that can also go out of the way. Now this needs to be completely stripped down of all these bits and bobs. Bend that back in place, it looks a little bit um, wonky. A little sponge off. Sugar. That's all right, stuck to my t shirt. That's not the right way around, is it? <clears throat> but that is. Excellent. Get the rubber off of there.
better. There's a small lip on those, so you have to put it in from the top and then slide it on at the bottom. So that should be all we need from here. So that can head binwards. No, these do not need to go in yet. Need to put it back together first. Hopefully, we can get this popped in there. That doesn't look too mangled. So with any luck, this should ping back in there nicely. Which one of these speakers is missing its grill? It's you. And that can come straight back off because I forgot that. really handy if it didn't fall out. So, yeah, we're back in business there. Let's have those screws back in the top. Need a less squeaky chair. I'll stick the sticky bits on later. Once we know we don't have to go in again. Just in case.
that's the way to do it. Right. How does that hinge feel? Yep. Hinge is good. So let's lay this cable along here. It's got some nice little grooves it can go in that hold it in place just about. I'm going to pop the open this up to give ourselves a, a tiny bit more space with the um, ribbon cables. I just find it makes it a little bit easier. the camera in and then the speaker and 3D sliding cable. Let's have some screws. Oh go out of the way. And perhaps folding oh. that so that I don't get any scratches or anything on there. <clears throat> Twist it round to there. Yep. Oh, didn't do everything, did I? Absolute moron. needs to come back and out if I can get to it hopefully yes because I forgot to pop out the volume slider
So that should be all the um, physical work of this done, as it were. <clears throat> that can sort off. Make sure that still fires up. Let's locate an SD card. Oh, there's one here. So yeah, knows there's a card in there. That's good. Back off it goes. And I will get some software dumped onto that card and be back with you in a minute. Right, hopefully I've put the right files on here. So that goes in there. The NTR boot card will go in here. And I need to hold start and select X and power. There we go, left, down, right, up, A. Lovely, so that's done that. That's now hacked. So, take the memory card back out, take NTR boot out. And I'll go and put some more firmware on this. Now I should be able to pop that back in. I'm going to have to force power it off. Hold 
hold down start, power it back on. Yep, into God mode, no, no. Home, scripts, GM9 mega script, scripts from Prilex, guide. Set up Luma to CTR NAND. Lovely. Start to reboot. Now, yeah, blah, blah. We should be able to go to download, play here. Once that fires up, left trigger, down, select. Misc options, switch homebrew title to that. Yep, yeah, close that, close it. Instantly reopen it. FBI. Check the SD card, get the CIA's folder. Install all CIA's. <coughs> test out the uh, trusty UK cubic ninja on it and we should be able to play games from any region on it but obviously as always because it's American the um, eShop is out of bounds unless you have an American account Start to exit. Close that. And yeah, apart from adding all of those, we've got Cubic Ninja up and running. So there we have it. The um, frame has been replaced. It's all nice and opening properly now. And it's got Luma installed, so it will run anything you like. Cool. Well, that's me done for another day. I'm going to put these stickers back in now and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.